what is going on fellas welcome back to debit credit nation i know it's been long since i presented any video on sap and today we are going to talk about convergent invoicing two very important features of convergent invoicing we are going to talk about and the topics are discounts and charges so let's understand these two topics one by one now first we'll understand what is convergent invoicing so convergent invoicing is the billing engine within the brim where subscription based industries are built now i hope you understand the difference between billing and invoicing so the main difference between billing and invoicing is that during the billing the actual consumptions are calculated for example say four people goes to a restaurant and they order four burgers now each burger costing 10 dollar so the total consumption will be 10 into 4 so this 40 dollar is the billing amount that is the exact consumption now the invoice amount may be greater than or less than 40 why because when the invoicing will be done then along with this consumption some taxes will be charged for example say 5 percent vat is added on this so the vat amount will be 40 into 5 percent then suppose one dollar service charge is added suppose one of the four friend is a relative of the owner so in that case say one dollar discount is also allowed now what will be the total of the invoice the total of the invoice is going to be 42 dollar now hope you understood the difference between billing and invoicing so now we are going to do invoicing obviously first i'm going to do the billing then i'm going to do the invoicing and i have already shown a video where the billing and invoicing steps are explained for convergent invoicing that was a basic video today our purpose is to understand little bit of advanced features of invoicing so the feature that i'm going to talk about is discount and charges so discount you all know that this is a discount okay so one dollar is deducted this is a discount so whenever discount is applied the receivable amount gets reduced accounts receivable amount gets reduced with the discount amount and charges are the exact opposite of discount charges means like these two are charges see this this is a vat this can be a charge which will increase the receivable balance or the invoice amount will be increased by charges and invoice amount will be decreased by discounts so here two dollar it is a vat and one dollar say service charge so this three dollar can be termed as charge and this one is known as discount so theoretically you understood what is charge and what is discount now we are going to see the same scenario into sap and we are going to do one scenario where say the condition is if the invoice amount is greater than 50 then say 3 percent discount will be applied if the invoice amount is less than 50 no discount only the threshold has to be 50 if the invoice amount is greater than equal to 50 then 3 percent discount will be applied that is invoice amount will be reduced also if the invoice amount is is greater than 100 then say flat 15 dollar stamp duty will be charged in indonesia there is a government requirement statutory requirement that if the uh, invoice amount is greater than 5 million then 10000 idr is charged as stamp duty so in that case any invoice which is less than 5 million there is no stamp duty but if it is more than 5 million 10000 stamp duty straight this is not a uh, percentage it's a straight figure so this way it is charged so in our example discount i have taken as a percentage but stamp duty i have taken as a fixed value so let's see this in the system so i'm going to post three invoices first invoice will be less than 50 dollar where no discount no stamp duty will be applied second invoice will be ranging between 50 to 100 first invoice i'm going to post worth 45 dollar second invoice i'm going to post worth 
सेवेंटी डॉलर थर्ड इन वॉयस आई एम गोइंग टू पोस्ट वर्थ हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डॉलर सो हियर इफ आई अप्लाई हियर डिस्काउंट एंड चार्जेस सो नो डिस्काउंट नो चार्ज हियर डिस्काउंट बट नो चार्ज एंड हियर वी हैव बोथ डिस्काउंट एंड चार्ज नाउ लेट्स वैलिडेट दिस सीनेरियो इन टू एस ए पी सो आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन ब्रीम नाउ आई एम इन टू द ब्रीम सिस्टम सो आई एम गोइंग टू नाउ पोस्ट द इन वॉयस सो फॉर पोस्टिंग द इन वॉयस आई नीड टू डू बिलिंग एंड फॉर डूइंग द बिलिंग आई नीड टू हैव द बिट्स जेनरेटेड फ्रॉम द अपस्ट्रीम फ्रॉम द सी सी सिस्टम सो हियर आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी सी सी सिस्टम आई एम गोइंग टू मैनुअली जेनेट द बिट्स सो फॉर दैट आई हैव शोन यू लास्ट टाइम गो टू द प्रोग्राम ए सी थर्टी एट एंड आर एफ के के बिक्स बिट सैम्पल इज द प्रोग्राम टू जेनेट बिट्स इंटरनली विद इन सी आई सो आई डोंट हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन सी सी नाउ आई एग्जीक्यूट एंड आई हैव अ वेरियंट आई एम गोइंग टू लोड द वेरियंट हियर दिस इज माई वेरियंट आई हैव थ्री बिट टाइप्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट रिड ऑफ टू बिट टाइप्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू डू द बिलिंग इन्वर्सिंग विथ वन बिट टाइप ओनली एस ओ ट्वेंटी फोर आई थिंक दिस इज फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग एस okay so i'm going to post only installation fee and this one is worth 40 dollar all right so this is the first scenario i don't expect any charges or discount here now my date of origin is 14 2024 that is 1st of april 2024 with that i'm going to generate the bits uh, ideally it's a bit because i'm going to generate only one bit so i'm going to change it to one okay one line item only so i execute and let's see the bit so the bit is generated now you must have noticed that my date of origin was 1424 but my bill from became 3424 why because i have created the billing cycle as the end of the month how and where have i maintained it i have configured it and i have maintained at the ca master the billing cycle says monthly at the end of the month overwritable okay so that is why the bill from date is taken as 34 2024 what is the importance of this bill from date that means i cannot bill this bit before this date for example suppose i try to bill it so i should bill it on 30.4 2024 on 30th april or after but suppose i try to bill it before that say i am going to bill it 29 04 2024 one day before okay bill from date Minus one. If I try to execute, I get an error. No billable item selected or qualified for billing. So that means I have to abide by this bill from. So this I have configured in the scheduling. So today I am not going to discuss about scheduling. So let's focus on discount and charges. So now I am going to bill it with thirty four two thousand twenty four. So bill. Select the line. Bill. And I enter the date here and I execute. so billing is allowed now so billing document is generated in the billing document there is no as i already mentioned billing is purely consumption 40 dollar is consumed here this is the header this is the line item 40 dollar is consumed here and 40 dollar is mentioned here so no discount no charges nothing will come in the billing it will come in the invoicing and also if it is eligible for discount and invoice next i am going to do the invoicing for invoicing also invoice from date is also determined invoice from date serves the same purpose that is i cannot invoice it before 2nd of may i can invoice it on 2nd of may 3rd of may 4th of may 5th of may but not before that again this i have configured that the invoice from date is the next month i mean 30th april was the bill from date and the second day of the next month that is second may after april may comes so second may i have scheduled it such a way configured it such a way so i can invoice it on 2524 so i'll go back and now i am going to invoice it and i don't expect any discount or charges here so i'll enter my invoicing process and document date posting date with that i am going to execute so invoicing document is generated and see i see only one line that is the exact consumption amount is billed so here i did not add any vat because the vat will confuse you more because i will have discount i will have charges i will have vat you will get confused so only 
amount is being invoiced and in the posting document in the FICA document here's the document number and I see simply customer debit sales revenue credit okay so less than 50 no discount no charges so this scenario has been validated oh I should have done 45 anyways I have taken 40 not an issue so this scenario is validated next I'm going to do $70 I'm going to generate a bit of $70 let's see whether 3% discount discount is let me mention okay it is mentioned here 3% discount is going to be charged so let's go to the system I'm going to post another I'm going to generate another bit then bill and invoice this time I'm going to use the amount of $70 we agreed on 70 yes $70 so here I go back and I'll just change 40 into 70 now I generate the bit again billable item so again I can bill it from 34 select bit is generated now I am going to bill the bit 34-2024 billing is completed again no discount no charges appear on the billing so next the discount or charges I can see in the invoicing which is the next step so I have copied the invoice from date which is 2nd of May now I am invoicing invoicing procedure document date posting date and I execute click on yes let's see the invoicing document now previously I saw I had only one line item worth 40 now I have two line item what is the total invoice amount total invoice amount we can see at the header 69 point sorry 67.90 now you understand the difference between billing and invoicing billing was for $70 but invoicing amount is 67.90 okay so I see item type 0 DISCNT that is discount is added let's see let's go to the right hand side to see the base amount so this is my base amount base amount means the billing amount here I don't have any discount so my billing amount the consumption amount 70 is my base amount so on 70 so on 70, 70 is my base amount on that 3% is added 3% of 70 is 2.10 let's validate 70 into 3% 2.10 now if I reduce it from 70 it comes uh, let me do one more time 70 into 97% this way I can directly get the amount so the amount is 67.9 so I have two separate line items so only discount is applied now let's see the FICA document now here I am generating two separate document we can club combine and create a single document as well so first is a zero bill is a regular invoicing document where I have customer debit and revenue credit next the second document which is for discount here I have discount debit customer credit as I told you discount will reduce the invoice amount so here my invoice amount is reduced from 70 to 67.90 okay this is my scenario number two so discount is applied but no charges are allowed no charges are applied so this also worked fine finally I'm going to post an invoice which is more than 100 and see whether the stamp duty is applied or not so I'll go back and I will change the amount from 70 to 120 so 120 dollar now I am going to generate the bit again bit is generated select and bill 30th April I am billing billing is done this is the consumption amount consumption amount is 120 now next I'm going to do the invoicing where both discount and charges or stamp duty should be applied. So I'm going to click on invoice, invoicing procedure, document date 2nd of May and posting date also 2nd of May and click on yes. Now I'm going to click on invoicing document. Now here we see that my consumption amount was 120 but my invoice amount is 131 that means 
some addition and some subtraction has taken place so let's see what has happened so this is my original line item and i see a discount you see zero discnt item type a discount of 3.6 was charged and a charge of 15 dollar was also applied so this discount is a 3% discount so we'll go back to the right hand side and we can see that base amount is 120 on top of that 3% discount is charged the rate you cannot see 3% rate we have configured in the back end and after deducting the discount that is 120 minus 3.6 we are left with 116.40 now on this the charge will be applied in our case i have taken a flat value so 15 dollar flat is applied here if i would have taken a percentage then also the percentage stamp duty would have been charged would have been applied on 116.40 say 2 percent of 116.40 anyways here we have taken a flat value so this discount can also be flat value and also it can be percentage like this for charge also it can be flat value or it can be a percentage or it can be a slab rate for example up to 50 dollar say 3% discount 50 to 100 dollar 4% discount 100 to 150 dollar 6% discount like that it can be configured we have used a simple scenario and this is the result now i have three fica document first one is a regular one customer debit and revenue credit you see the gl account 41 series gl account is the regular revenue gl now let's go back here is a discount document 43 series gl okay discount gl so here it will reduce so customer is credited here and discount is debited so whenever customer is credited that means it will reduce customer debit means invoice amount will be increased and customer credit means invoice amount will be decreased so it has decreased and finally this is a charge document where it will again increase so customer is debited with 15 and credited with stamp duty and here is a stamp duty gl 42 series that i have configured so this scenario has also worked so i will mark this also as green so that's all for today's video i'm going to wrap this video right here if you think we are doing a good job please like and subscribe to debit credit nation share this channel with your friend and we'll see you next time with another insightful video keep supporting us thank you so much